Hello, Changing Time Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger with me, Blue Ankylo. We've uh, resurrected Mr. Chrono here, and we've even recruited Magus to the cause, unlike time had perhaps suggested. Let's start talking to Gaspar. Perhaps the guru of time. No. Life? No, time. I forget which one he is. Pretty sure Balthazar was time. This one might he might even be logic, honestly, for all I know. If you would thank someone, thank the one who cared enough to return his friend. Yeah. The the wings of time or the epoch does follow you through the ages, no matter where you go. You have many ways to fight it. You can attack the Black Omen, fight Lavos there, or summon Lavos. You can go to 1999, you can go through that bucket. There may be other ways as well. Could be interesting. And yes, he gets some glimpses of ways to empower. A forest brought back to life by the sheer determination of a woman in the Middle Ages. Fortress of one of Megas' three former generals. Task to be done in the future. Prehistoric stone that will shine with the light of all the ages of the world. Wreck the spirit of a proud knight slain by Magus. An object of legend in the Middle Ages that sparkles like a rainbow. Six fancy subquests. Or all the might of these lives throughout the ages. Let their strength become your own. And that's something we should do. Hmm, we're not going to start with a solar energy quest. But, that's Luca's suggestion. Go there. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Frog. The spirit of a proud knight. So this is Frog's side quest. That'll be in 600 AD. Ah, yes. Ayla's village may have been upgraded by now. We'll have to go back to 65 million BC. Robo might know a thing or two about machines in the future. Let's uh, switch people out so we can talk to uh, the other people. Oh, am I allowed to switch here? Kind of silly. <laughs> Alright, I just want to see what the conversations for uh, Luca and. No, for, for Marl and Magus, that is to say. Well, good to know she might be jumping again. Hey, don't be like that. You would have died too for when for me. So he knows about Ozzy's extra fortress. Perhaps Ozzy survived all those years. Um, no one really talked about the forest. That's the one I want to go do first. Um, <laughs> some of these are actually really quite hard. Um, we could fight Specchio again as well now, but I think he'd just kill us. Uh, we're gonna need to get some level ups before we fight the empowered level 40 Specchio. Um, I'm gonna say, uh, as much as I know we just rescued Chrono, I kind of want to keep working on Magus to get his techs, and um, for the upcoming area, I'm gonna go with Ayla and Marl, or Frog, one or the other. <sighs> there is an item to steal from, a next, from the next boss I want to fight, and I know you want a lot of water magic or ice magic in general. So it's either Marl or Frog. Uh, Ayla Frog has a pretty good heal tech combo, so maybe I'll go with them, and Frog's a bit quicker. 
But Marl has haste, which might be more important for the boss. Of course, this means I'm not getting tech points for uh, Robo. We're pretty close. Let's see. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go with Ayla and Frog for now. We'll give him, uh... Yeah, we'll just switch the Black Blade over now. Got that. I think we picked up a new sword for Chrono as well, the Yaksha Blade in the last dungeon. Not a big deal. I am going to give that golden stud, though, to my new magical master for now. If there's anything that makes uh, Magus even more of a beast, it's the golden stud. I think... Yeah. We'll go with Frog. I like Frog. Alright, good speed. Maybe we'll let Ayla's have less speed. And I'll give her the Silver Stud, because I know she runs out of MP a lot with her, some, of her, some of her abilities. So we'll try that for a while. Sure. Slightly better helmets is fine. It's nothing to really worry about. Could have given her the Mermaid Helm, I guess. Also, I've got the Time Hat now, even. Oh, I thought the Mermaid Helm was uh, female only. The Dark Helm is definitely male only. Interesting. Uh, I mean, I don't expect there to be a lot of water to deal with this, so that's fine. Okay, so anyway, we got a little bit of uh, gearing up. So the first thing I want to do was the first thing Gaspar mentioned about the forest in the desert. Forest, desert, something, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm sure you guys have noticed, uh, if we'd listened to some of the people, there, there was a few people that talked about this in 1080 and 600. That, uh, you know, there used to be a town here, and there used to be a little villa here, and uh, there were some legends about some people that tried to not have it be a desert, but perhaps failed. So we're going to see if we can do something about that. Because this wasn't here before, and there's quite a few little map things like that that change now that the uh, Epoch has wings. Oh look, her, her hubby came home. Marco. We could stop by and say hello to the king of uh, Guardiana now in uh, 600 AD. We might get around to that at some point. So here's your little tip. Use water, or ice, same difference. Anything I plant dies before it has a chance to grow. Now I believe that technically this quest does not unlock until you talk to the woman in 12,000 BC that had the sapling. It's pretty hard to miss her, but she's the one that had the magic sapling that eventually gets passed into 2300 AD. Um in the seed that saves all the, the future people from starvation. This is the same tree. So let's go deal with that monster nest. This is the biggest difficulty jump spike in Chrono Trigger, at least in the original version. Be careful down here if this is the first side quest you pick. Any of the side quests at this point in the game are pretty difficult, though. Say hello to the sandworms. Um, I don't think that'll do the type of damage I want it to do. I'm gonna go with ice too. And if that doesn't kill them, we'll go with water too. I do have frog squash. Let's see what it does. You haven't seen Frog Squash yet. There you go. Frog summons a frog. Does basically nothing. But yeah, water elemental attacks will reduce defense down here pretty much always. So they're pretty good. 
I probably don't need to bring Frog as long as I've got Magus. He can handle the, uh, the elemental dropping. I guess we're still missing, uh, the final a uh, Frog Ayla tech. Probably needs, uh, whatever her Dino Tail is, her final ability. But yeah, the enemies here take a pretty significant jump in strength. I mean, you can see their base attack is over 100, which is nothing to j joke about. And the boss is quite strong. Spoiler alert, there's a boss down here. <laughs> there's a monster. I'm hoping that this party will be able to handle it. Uh, I'm pretty sure the boss has an item I want to steal as well, so... That's why Ayla must be in the group. Alright, we're gonna try Water 2 after this, this time. Or maybe start with, I guess. It'll do less damage, but should still reduce defense. And Mega should be able to wipe them out. The only weakness is Frog's gonna run out of MP, because I forgot to rest. I might just clear this floor and then use a shelter, honestly. Or go to an inn. Well, I probably could just use an elixir. Again, uh, if you brought Chrono, like, you probably should. Um... Oh look, that'll hit one target. Amazing. Um, that's kind of silly. I don't know what I'm doing there. <laughs> Chrono would be a good br a good person to bring, clearly. Uh, because he has access to all the double and triple techs. But I, I like using Magus because he's cool. Man, every step. Every step of the way. Wrong one. Technically, you could go, like, Magus, Frog, Marl, and everyone would have a water attack. Pretty good area to grind as well, if that's what you want to do. TP flows freely in here. Aeonian suit. Not that valuable. Okay, that's... Another fight, just they're everywhere. Every step we take. Let's speed this up a little bit. Basically the same fight over and over again. I think you guys get the drill. 60 TP though, that's kind of insane from a regular fight. Alright, let's try to get down to the next level. I think there's only like two floors here. Ground shake? Yeah, that's, that's the thing. So, uh, hold up. Yeah. Go and move under sand. Hard C. Thanks, Ayla. So what I want to do here for sure is, um, at least ether up, uh, Frog. I'm going to be needing him for some healing at least. I'm also putting a save state down, just because I have definitely died to this boss before, and I don't think I saved it recently at a proper save, so that's my bad. I don't have to redo all the fights on the last map, either. Memory cap. Helmet. Might as well get all the treasure first, right? Muscle ring? What does that do? Probably like plus eight or something for strength. Plus six stamina, huh? Oh yeah, black dark or black gemstone. I wonder what that would teach us. Um, did you guys ever guess what three characters you needed for it? I don't remember exactly. I think it's Luca, Magus, and. I'll have to show it off, but, um, yeah, so it's definitely Luca and Magus. Who's the third? Maybe Robo? 
easiest way to tell is see who can equip it. I guess it's probably Marl then. Alright, yeah, so Black Genstone. So if any of those three, Luca, Marl, Magus... You know, I had them all in the party there for a while. I could have equipped this and used the Eternal Darkness triple tech. I'll do it later. Don't worry, we'll get around to it. Alright, well, I'd like to get that treasure before we fight this thing. It's not gonna matter much. Alright. Well, I'll put another save down just because I picked all the treasure up. Let's do it! I didn't do it. Come on. I said, I said let's do this. Do you have to sneak attack us? Why are you being such a pain? I don't know why this guy's being such a jerk. Oh, well, you know what I could do? I just realized that, like, we're not even fully healed here. Alright, seriously this time. Fight me! Fight me! There we go, okay. Let's do this. So, he'll remind you of an old boss, but he's not the same. And say hello to upgraded Skeletor. Skeletor. All right. So Melfix is the name, by the way. Let's see how much damage Water Two can do. Nothing. But it lowers the defense. That's something. Might be worth putting barriers up. Let's see if Dark Magic does anything. I do need to steal something from the core, I believe. Okay, that just healed the core. So dark magic, pretty bad. Maybe Magus was a poor choice. We'll see. I usually bring Chrono, but... Alright, there's the speed capsule. That's the thing I really wanted. Um... They slowly damage the core. I think you can't really hurt the core, maybe, on its own. Let's see if we can hurt... It like that. Maybe I should just start putting barriers up anyway. A thousand damage isn't that amazing. If we had Marl, we'd be hasted up. Sand Cyclone. Not too bad. We do have a way to restore statuses if we get, uh,. Poisoned or whatever, at least. Let's keep hitting the top. I think you want to destroy the, uh... The, t the head first, the upper body, basically. I think. Thousand damage a turn isn't that amazing, though. Could do more if we'd brought Chrono, probably. It's fine. At least we'll have magic defense for everybody. That should help. This is kind of an odd party for me. I, I wouldn't normally bring these three. But I'm trying to be tricky. Not too bad. Core will die eventually. I remember something bad happening when the core dies. Maybe it's one of those, uh... Uh, what you call them, like, MP stealing type attacks, you know, uh, like, like the original skeleton, giant skeleton we fought on the bridge in 600 AD. Maybe it's the same kind of thing where... Maybe. I wonder if we would do more damage with just physical. Ah, that was not bad. Maybe this guy is easier than I thought, or maybe I'm just doing it better, I don't know. I swear, I remember dying to this guy before. Maybe I just... I don't even know. I would have always brought someone that used water. Well, that's rude. Um... just get fully healed up. He clearly does... Every now and then, that 300 plus... Oops. 
thing. Every, every time that 300 plus damage attack is uh, a little bit rude. I thought it was like half your MP, half your HP or something, but no, it's just very strong. Sand cyclone, was that it? Doesn't do very much to Magus anyway. I also don't know exactly what counts as a, a magical attack versus a physical attack. I would expect something like Sand Cyclone is probably magic, so barrier or magic barrier will protect us. But I couldn't bet on it. That sort of attack. Yeah, that's his really strong one, and that must be that must be just physical. Frog's uh, an acceptable healer while Marl away. Alright, as long as he's only got one really strong attack and I stay healed up, we'll be fine. Oh, we're good. Escaped? Huh. I don't remember that happening. We got the Dino Tail. Bad Bone Smash! Yeah, I guess I normally destroy the core. Maybe destroying the core is the problem. Oh. Anyway, uh, was that the final tech or did she have another one? Oh, she still has Cripple Kick. Wow. Yeah, I was way behind on Ayla. I thought this was her final. Alright, so. Good! She'll learn another attack that's probably stronger and more. Well, single target. Okay, you know what? I kind of remember triple tip, triple kick now. It's pretty good. So it's her and Robo that need it right now? That's it. Robo, Ayla, and uh, Magus are the only one that needs tech points right now. So I will try to get them in the party, basically. Anyway, all you gotta do is beat that boss. And he is pretty tough, clearly. I think... It, it probably depends on what order you destroy, um, in what order you destroy, uh, the parts, is how difficult he is, and maybe I got lucky today and did it in the right order. I think I used to do, like, a lot of area of effect attacks, like Falcon Strike and stuff, and I probably destroyed the center core earlier, and maybe that unlocks some sort of really nasty counter. Hmm. <laughs> All right, well, we save them. Surely that will uh, create the forest in the year 1000, right? Oh. Well, where's this lush forest? I didn't want to spoil it for you guys, but she didn't have centuries. She wasn't going to last that long. So do you know anyone that could toil away for 400 years? I might know somebody. She may be saved now and then, you know. Um, but yeah, like, what if you happen to bring a robot that, uh... You know, had no specific reason that he couldn't, uh, work in the fields for a few years. Hmm. What do you think? Well... He's a pretty good-natured robot, and he wants to help replant the forest. Who am I to say no? And there he is. He'll remain there, tilling the land, planting the magic seeds, for a very long time. But for us, it'll be but a second.
Oh! Things have changed a little. We've, uh, maybe helped prevent global warming a little bit. And this place is much different. So I wonder if, like, uh, everything that, like, Marl, Luca, and, uh, Chrono learned in school is now being completely rewritten. We've, we've totally messed up the Fiend Lorne's battle because, uh, you know how they used to worship, uh, Magus in, uh, Monster Village over here. And now they worship Aussies. So that's changed. And, and, you know, the, this <laughs> desert <laughs> south of the, the bridge, um, well, you know, geography is a little different. Let's go say hello. Of course it's, um, Magus' fault, right? Magical hats? So you can buy some pretty neat hats here. It's pretty good! It's pretty expensive, but like, you know, in Final Fantasy it's considered a ribbon that prevents all status ailments. His status ailments aren't as much of a problem in Chrono Trigger generally, but every now and then you find something that really likes to put people to sleep or confuse them, and man is it annoying. This is the kind of hat you want. The other ones are not as great. So uh, I will be buying some of these at some point. I just don't have the money right now. Well. Let's see, still functional? He is permanently out of your party unless you come uh, pick him up here, by the way. I like how, like, for 400 years no one investigated the robot. Yeah, sorry about that. Our, uh... Dial on the Epoch isn't uh, fine-grained enough to come back any earlier. A 400-year reunion? Well, of course. Someone get some spit shine. I like how Chrono's already passed out. Okay, so... I sort of hinted at that before as well, that perhaps Lavos was somehow... I mean, it seemed like every time you go near Lavos, there's these time distortions, so it seemed reasonable. But there's... You believe there's some other entity? I mean, it sure was convenient that the time gates led us to all of the people we needed. That's actually surprisingly deep. Wonder if Magus saw those visions before he died. Or Chrono, that is to say. Hmm. But who would be able to remember multiple time periods of a planet. No need to worry about it, Marl. You'll never die. Luca's backstory. She doesn't talk about. That much seems true. Because at the very least, all of these time zones 
Well, other than maybe 1000 AD, other than Chrono... Well, no, because... because Marl's Pendant was pretty important. It seems like all these time zones are related directly to... Lavos event. 65 million BC, he arrives. 12,000 BC, he's... powered up and summoned. 600 AD, he's almost revived by uh, Magus. 1000 AD, I don't know what Lavos is doing, but clearly the Pendant's up to something. Um, and that's of course where Chrono and all the the main crew come from. And then 2300 AD is, well sorry, 1999 is uh, when he destroys the world. 2300 is perhaps when he's done destroying the world, although we're not exactly sure what's going on there. So it does seem like Lavos is bonded with the Time Gates in some fashion. Yeah, exactly, that's what I was just saying. That's... that's a hard question to ask. To answer. An entity greater than any of us. Well, that's kind of what we're at. If, if there is an entity, it has to be something beyond our scope. Everyone seems to be asleep. The frog looks kind of dead. Huh. What's the time gate doing over here? And it's different. I wonder what event Luca would visit. June 24th, 990. Dad promised to go hiking with me, but he blew me off again because of his research. I don't get it. But whatever. Who cares about stupid science anyway? Girls don't need to know about that stuff. This kinda looks like Luca's house. But. Well, that's not good. Oh, don't tell me she's gonna get sucked into the machine. There's nothing over here, is there? I guess I could have read these first. You might want to know that, though. The password to shut down the machine is the name of my one true love. Luca's name is too long. guys remember? That's actually a really hard little puzzle if you haven't been paying attention. Mom's name is Lara. Remember the little tricky key combos we learned back in 2300 AD once upon a time? The buttons L-A-R-A -A, are the password. I did not succeed the first time I tried that when I was playing this game and I was very upset. But thankfully a powered-up Luca brain was able to figure the password out. So what have we changed? I don't think young Luca, the girl, would have been able to figure that password out for her saving her mom. So we've changed, we've changed something by saving her. Guess she's not going to be a nerd anymore, maybe. I don't know, changing time probably would have consequences. Wow. 400 years? Make the green dream. Alright. It's one of my favorite little side story events in the game. Now I believe the green dream will be another triple tech item. Oh no, never mind. Automatically revive KO. Sure, that's cool. 
There'll be some more gemstone-like triple techs. We'll get those eventually. Point is, Magus can learn a few. So if we just change time for Luca's mom, see what's happened. I think I mean, we might have all the defensive gear he makes for her, honestly. So I guess she's always up in her room, right? Except, well, now she can walk. So what they only ever really hinted at was that her legs were crushed in the uh, accident about 10 years ago. And she'd been basically unable to walk. So we just saved her mom. I think it's pretty nice. All right, well, pretty much done for this episode. That was a that was a fun one. I like that one. Um, it's a short side quest. The dungeon's not very long. It's a good test for your uh, your powers. Uh, I want to introduce Magus to the mother because I believe he's the only character she hasn't seen. Friend is perhaps a stretch, but uh, you know, we seem to have an affinity for cats, so there's something in common. Anyway, <laughs> alright folks, we're gonna end the episode here. Next episode, we got more side quests to do. I don't know which one we're gonna do yet. Maybe Magus's. I want Magus to get a, some more skills, so uh, maybe go through some of his, maybe go through his first. Thanks for watching everybody, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.